algebra chapter 2 lesson 3 and I want to wrap this lesson up by looking at what the negative sign actually means and a negative sign depending upon the context of the problem or what you're talking about has many different meanings so we know that a negative sign in front of a number can mean a negative number in terms of uh, a number on the number line but it does have other meanings and when you tackle these word problems um, the context is going to decide what that negative sign really means so very quickly if we're talking about a direction left or right on a number line for instance the negative sign indicates a movement to the left um, if we're talking about up or down uh, a negative sign is always indicates a direction down and that can be whether we're pulling down with force in your physics or whether you're just going under sea level would be under uh, uh, under the water would be a negative distance from sea level so negative indicates a direction down uh, if you're talking about money a negative sign indicates that you owe something so you have a negative uh, amount of uh, uh, money on your balance sheet then you owe money uh, if we're talking about temperature a negative sign indicates a temperature that below is below zero or a temperature that is falling again moving down so a negative sign or a negative word uh, in the in the context of a problem does have many different meanings it doesn't simply just mean a negative number so some of your problems that you'll have is an example like this where a submarine is cruising at a depth of 30 meters it climbs 12 meters then dives 21 meters then climbs 13 meters at what depth is a submarine so how do you set that up mathematically well we begin by determining where is the submarine to begin with and we use the uh, surface of the water as zero so if it's at a depth of 30 meters then it's at minus 30 as it begins to climb or go up then that would be a positive number because it's going up it then dives or goes down so that would be a negative 21 because the direction of the submarine is going down and then it climbs at 13 now it's going back up so that's a positive number so mathematically we would write that as an addition problem it starts out at negative 30 it climbs 12 that's plus 12 and then it goes down 21 so that's plus a negative 21 and then it goes up 13 so that would be plus 13 moving up and then we apply what we learned about adding positive and negative numbers in order to do that so we would add all the positive numbers together first that's 25 we would add the negative numbers together that's 51 and then we find the difference between those two which is 26 and the 51 which was negative is larger in value than the 15 or the 25 excuse me so the final answer gets a negative value so the submarine is ending up at negative 26 which interpreting what does the negative sign mean in terms of the problem that we're looking at the negative sign indicates it's that's 26 feet below the level of the surface where the surface of the water would be zero. So the negative sign can have many interpretations. Again, the problem is going to dictate what that negative sign actually means.